What's up you guys? It's Imani Jelena. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Imani Jelena. I have a hair company by the name Allure 96 and then I also coach many women online about creating a business, starting a business, brand development, image development, and so forth. So if you guys are interested in starting up a business, getting a vendor, checking out a vendor's list, learning how to create labels from home, checking out Allure 96 hair, or scheduling coaching sessions with me, all of that stuff will be right in the description box for you. Go ahead and check it out. And if you guys do not know, there is a Facebook group by the name The Bag. If you are interested in getting information about starting a business and hearing other people's stories and other people engaging with your stories and answering all of your business related questions definitely go join the group i'll leave that information tag right below for you as well so for all the people who want to start a business i'm going to tell you guys how to start a business with about 400 bucks okay if you guys do not know my story i own allure 96 and i started my business with a little shy of 500 dollars and it's been booming since like it definitely took me a while to get to where I am now but might I say like my business is going very successful so I've learned a lot over the course of this past year and I just kind of want to share my experiences with you guys and kind of teach you guys the ins and outs to being your own business owner owning a hair business being in the beauty world and so forth how to start a business with $400 it's possible granted it's only $400. So when you think of it like that, you can purchase inventory, but you pr you can't purchase as much inventory as you would like to purchase. That is the only downfall when starting your business with such a low budget. But the first thing is order what you can. Right now, if you're starting off with 400 bucks or 500 bucks or even $1,000 creating a business, that is very low on the totem pole as far as investing in your business. So something that I would like to say is just order what you can, what you can afford and, and sell those until you can sell what you really want to sell. So with me, for instance, I started with about 12 bundles, a frontal and one closure. Boom. So it's definitely doable. So that's the first one. Order what you can. The next thing when opening up a business, you need to have no expectations. A lot of the time when people expect a certain outcome with their business and they don't necessarily meet those expectations, they kind of sink and then they plummet and then they don't want the business and then they move on to their next. When owning a business, in the beginning, don't give yourself any expectations. Instead of trying to get purchases, definitely hold off on that and focus on getting people to your social media sites at first and then focus on getting people to your website and then focus on getting people to click on certain stuff on your website it's about the income don't get me wrong but when you're focusing solely on the income you're going to miss out on a lot of your other blessings and a lot of the other potential customers that you can get so like i said don't solely just rel focus on your expectations because your expectations can screw you over in the end if you don't have the mindset to getting where getting to where you need to be this is just going to be a quick little story how i started with a little under 500 dollars um but what i did was i purchased 12 bundles um 12 bundles it was six body wave and then six straight and then the lengths just varied um i believe i got one like 14 16 18 20 22 24 and then i did the same thing with the straight texture as well that is ultimately how i personally did it and then what i did was as soon and then as soon as i received those bundles that's when i went ahead and started to promote myself and when i started to promote myself i was just doing it through snapchat i just had like all the bundles laying um on the table and i was just like hey if you need hair hit me up and so forth that is how I personally did it and that is a route that you can do it as well but if you want to be a little more professional with the launch of everything I definitely recommend having everything via browser or via online or website however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it and then that kind of takes me into the next tip that I'm going to give you guys it would be order as you go so let's say for some reason you order 12 bundles and three out of those 12 bundles are gone and someone else wants a length that you don't have anymore order it as you go so let's say you can't spend four grand on inventory right now or 15 grand on inventory right now if you spend four hundred dollars you have inventory on hand so if someone orders something that you don't necessarily have 
just order that from your vendor and then send it to them as long as you have a reliable vendor who has a pretty amazing shipping regulations and policies on getting your packages to you when they're supposed to be to you you will be fine the only thing is and the only downfall from that is your customer can potentially end up waiting a little bit longer which can hurt your sales so there's a lot of stuff to think about when doing it that route but when you have rules in place and policies in place no one can really explain because no one can really complain but that is an option if you do want to start a hair company or a lash company but you don't have thousands to put into it still bring it to your business and just order it as you need it and that's not necessarily a bad thing because let's say you go into Nike and you want this particular shoe but they only have it in other sizes that you don't wear you can go to Nike request that particular size they'll send it to their store and you pick it up so it's the exact same thing so don't think you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a business owner or you're failing at this because you have to do it this route and so forth this is just an example that i'm going to throw out shipping can take two weeks to get to your customer but but if you have excellent customer service your customers they'll care about their packages taking a little bit longer but they're still satisfied at the end so those are a few options on ways that you can create your business with such little money definitely check out some of my other videos because I am all about being affordable I'm all about living your best life on a budget and so forth so I love each and every one of you if you have not definitely go ahead and check out the description box because there's tons of goodies down there check out our new Facebook group and thanks for everyone that continues to support me and I just want to thank you all because I noticed how much you guys support each other and that brings like love to my heart so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye